In the middle of the night in the New Mexico desert, a strange object moves far beyond the threshold of hypersonic speeds, rocketing along a 10-mile track in mere seconds. While hard to make out, even at half speed, the item seen in the unique footage is a sled, part of the United States Air Force's latest developments in defense technology. The secretive tests, carried out in recent years and even breaking a few world records, have left even the most clever web sleuths pondering what the technology behind the experiments could be. With Pentagon officials racing to get their hands on any kind of hypersonic weapons, it is unquestionable that the tests in the footage are no coincidence, and even part of a much bigger endeavor. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a super-fast sled. The U.S. Air Force's test center, headquartered at Edwards Air Force Base, tests some of the latest American-made defense technology. As such, it is one of the most secretive spots in the world, and one can only speculate about what goes on there. Still, the service allows a sneak peek into their most recent development on rare occasions, like the footage published in May of 2019. In the video, an object can be seen rocketing along a set of tracks at 6,599 miles per hour, or about Mach 8.6. Too fast for the naked eye to see, the second part shows a slowed-down version in which it is still difficult to determine precisely what is happening. In reality, the camera captures a sled accelerating at almost two miles per second and making an eerie sound as it slides through the tracks. For context, the sled would be able to travel the 24,901 mile circumference of the Earth in only 227 minutes, or a little less than four hours. However, the high-speed test track where the U.S. Air Force tested the incredible hypersonic technology is only 10 miles long. The Holloman high-speed test track is not new and has a long history of defense development, having contributed to many advancements that have kept the United States at the forefront of warfare technology. Rocket Technology on Land The hypersonic test seen in the incredible footage was taken at the Holloman Air Force Base's high-speed test track, or HHSTT. This 10-mile track bridges the gap between developmental laboratory work and operational use, providing high-fidelity testing in a realistic environment, and is the perfect platform to analyze rocket systems, gain valuable data for future projects, and solve problems that would otherwise not be completed by other means. According to the official Air Force website, the HHSTT's mission is to, quote, provide a cost-effective, realistic, dynamic test environment for the entire acquisition community, including the Department of Defense and contractors. As such, the test track also provides its valuable services to a wide range of defense and governmental agencies, such as the Army, Navy, and the Missile Defense Agency, as well as several of America's allies. Some of the other tests performed on the site include developing pilotless aircraft, crew escape systems, guided missiles, and munitions dispensers from high-speed moving platforms. Established after World War II, just as the aircraft industry turned its attention towards turbojet engine technology, the test track has had a long and colorful history and has significantly evolved throughout the decades. One such overhaul occurred in the early 2000s when the HHSTT was adjusted for the hypersonic era. After 75 years of testing the newest available systems to push the United States to the forefront of war technology, including the latest in rocket-propelled devices and ejection seats, the high-speed rail track is still in use. World Record In late March of 2022, the sled seen in the footage was successfully stopped while traveling at 6,400 feet per second, five times the speed of sound. This feat was the fastest recovery of a monorail sled in over three decades, and the first time the United States Air Force had ever recovered a planned reusable sled at those speeds. The test was carried out by the United States Air Force's 846 Test Squadron, and the service announced the feat in a public press release a few months after it happened. In the document, 
Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Paul Dolce, commander of the 846 Test Squadron, congratulated the team on its outstanding achievement, stating, quote, truly historic in my books. This could not have been done without everyone here who works at the track. These efforts will now set up our future hypersonic test and evaluation investment portfolio runs for success and add a new capability for our hypersonic customers. According to Daniel Lopez, a project manager for the Holloman High Speed Test Track, the world record was a sign of many future successful hypersonic recovery tests, setting the bar extremely high for upcoming projects. The recovery is a part of the Air Force's 846 Test Squadron's Hypersonic Sled Recovery Effort, or HSR, undertaken by the task force to prepare for the increased need for hypersonic tests in support of the United States National Defense Strategy. HSR testing allows for the recollection of critical data after a thorough analysis is completed and is particularly essential for hypersonic weapons testing. In addition to recovery missions, the Air Force's 846 Test Squadron's testing also provides relevant data to verify lethality, aerothermal and weather effects, impact survivability, separation dynamics, guidance system performance, sensor performance, and many other key performance metrics. To this day, the Holloman High Speed Test Track is the only sled track capable of recovering sleds with test articles from velocities over Mach 5. Sliding through the theories. With ever-increasing pressure due to the hypersonic advances in China and Russia, the Pentagon is rushing to develop any kind of hypersonic weapons of its own. As such, their test phases are one of the U.S. military's top priorities. The developers place extreme stress on test subjects in order to determine which materials can withstand the heat and strain of sustained flight at speeds of Mach 5 or more. This is an essential part of studying the limits of a weapon's flight performance and survivability before moving on to more expensive and complicated flight tests. And this is widely considered to be the reason behind the use of the hypersonic sled tests that have broken world records. One of the theories regarding the sled tests is that the technology is part of the Prompt Global Strike, or PGS, a United States military effort to develop a system capable of delivering a precision-guided conventional weapon airstrike anywhere in the globe in less than an hour. While the United States military already possesses similar technology in the form of intercontinental ballistic missiles, it is believed that something more subtle is needed, and this technology might be behind the rocket-powered hypersonic sleds. In any case, the United States Air Force is using the hypersonic sleds to test something capable of sustaining temperatures, stress, and vibrations with extreme acceleration and high-speed travel. Still, it is too soon to know what these tests are trying to assess or prove with precision. The slowed down footage of the technology sliding down at hypersonic Mach 8.6 speeds proves that the Holloman high-speed test track remains a trusted resource for the United States Air Force and continues to be an essential part of American military technology development. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed our video and share it with someone who might like it. And for more amazing stories about incredible feats, don't hesitate to subscribe to this and all the other Dark Documentaries channels. Also hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. And stay tuned for more.